All right, guys. I'm gonna show you how to turn a bolt window here. I'm using a 40 inch roll for this curved side window. Factory edges to be like this. So your factory edges are on your side, not your top and bottom like you would a normal car window. See how I guys I have this? My factory edges are kind of at a diagonal like this, going this direction, and over here going this direction. This way. Not top and bottom like a car window. And then we're gonna squeeze this stuff out here. Just so the film doesn't move around on us when we're cutting it. I always start here with this straight side, it's the easiest. And up here you can get rid of this excess only until it starts curving right there and then you want to stop it. Now when you trim your top, you only go to about right where the curve starts. Right here, where the curve starts. Stop cutting there. You're gonna stop your cut right about there where the curve starts. So this is kind of like the flat glass stuff, you know, you didn't want to cut that area because it was just going to bunch up and give you a nasty cut. Okay, so that's all trimmed up. Now we're going to go down here to the bottom. Same thing with the curve concept. So you see now that we made that cut, the film is starting to lay down around this curve. The reason we turn our film with the factory edges this way is the grain of the tent likes to lay into that curve. If you try and shrink that curve, it just doesn't work out. You're gonna have a struggle a lot.
You see now this is starting to just lay around this curve here. All right, I'm gonna get on the ladder. Finish her off a little bit. So right here, we're still in the curved part here. See how the film is just nicely laying around that corner now? This cut, you can take it all the way back to where this black this thing is going up all right do you see how the film is just naturally laying around this curve now you don't have a lot of fingers i mean you got one big finger here one big finger up here that's literally all you're going to have to shrink when you get into here. But we're going to move these fingers over there because that's where our factory edge is when we shrink. We can't shrink up and down. So now, when you're at this point, you're going to go ahead and take just a little bit off the top of this guy. You want to leave it long there. And you want to leave it long on this side as well. So now, you got to think about it. This glass is a quarter inch thick. When we take this pattern to the inside, if we were to trim it all up at this on the outside, the pattern's gonna be a quarter inch bigger on the inside. <coughs> and you take it to the inside. liner facing in no I'm kind of just manhandling this film because it's not going to be staying on this boat so I don't really give a fuck if it gets creased or anything like that Now that we're in here. You're gonna move it up. So you're gonna recut this whole top. I leave like a an eighth of inch of a gap to a quarter inch gap here on this bottom. You're never going to see the light gap from inside here. Um, if you really want to be picky about it, you could put a piece of black vinyl on the outside. But it's so low and deep in these boats, you will never even see that uh, little light gap. This is going to help your install because if that film is running into that rubber, you're just going to keep sucking up water, keep sucking up water, sucking up dirt, all that good stuff. So, now that we're at this point, <clears throat> we're gonna, this bottom is always gonna be long even though you cut it. So, in here, you can either mark it with a sharpie and cut it on your peel board if you don't have enough room when you got like big, you know, GPS devices and stuff like that over there. But here, I'll just cut it by hand real quick. Yeah, 
Hmm. Okay. Now that's all laid. See, that's just laying up real nice in that curve now. Now on this side. Now you can't get all the way down in there with that angle of the knife, so switch up your cutting direction. Okay. So there's that. It's perfect. You know, no light gap on that area at all. And we know it's going to fit because we're already on the inside. Then you're going to take this part up here. You got to cut a little bit at a time because it is curved. <laughs> and we're still gonna and you might have to recut your whole top up here just because we did move it up you know from the bottom Normally I would take this pole off, but we're not really tending this boat. Um, Alright, this is cut like really shitty guys because I'm in a hurry like trying to put speakers in this boat. But I just want to make you guys a video. With leather panties. <laughs> okay, so now this pattern is good to go in here. Let me show you that gap on there. So you see, that's about this gap you're gonna have on the bottom. I'm cutting this small so that I don't have issues upon install for you guys but normally I would trim the rubber so you wouldn't have to cut this small like that you could hide your film up in the rubber Sorry about that. <laughs> like I said, I trimmed this top small so that when I install it, I don't have any issues because I didn't trim the rubbers. But if I was thinning this bulk for real, I would trim about eighth inch off of the rubber all the way around, except for the bottom. <coughs> now. Oh, 
And now we gotta shrink it. But look how nicely that pattern just lays into that curvature, everything like that. We're gonna shrink over here, because this is where our factory edge is. And then over here a little bit. Move your fingers over to this big side. Split these fingers up a little bit, that one was big. So we got two, you know, decent sized fingers over here to shrink. That's all gonna need to shrink. Now you see over here, it's just, it just lays into this curve. That's the natural property of the film going against the grain. Just lays right into that curvature. I know this is the hardest part for you guys. So you're gonna have two, three small fingers over here, two big fingers over here, and that's it. We'll shrink it up for you guys real quick. But do you see that? Two small fingers here, two big fingers there. This pattern is cut short so it'll lay in there nicely so I don't gotta mess around with you guys and fight this film. <clears throat> Let me get a heat gun. Ah, fuck it, I'll use the torch. Do you know where the Mac tacks at, Kylie? The what? The soft Mac tack? Start off with these small ones here. Okay, those two fingers are done. Now normally I would shrink this with a uh, heat gun guys, I just didn't want to run extension cables on this stuff.
so there you go it's all shrunk if we wanted to install this we definitely could I'm not gonna clean the window or anything like that just because I don't have time for that I'm just gonna show you guys how to get this thing in there Like I said, normally I would have removed that metal pole right there holding the window up. Just walk this bad boy down there. So that basically lines up in there perfectly. Okay. Move that down, I can't tell you there. Uh, I like to start in this curved area right here because that's where the most tension is at when you're when it comes down to the install Alright, so your hardest part now after this is going to be this top corner, this this top edge here, never wants to lay. You're going to have to heat the shit out of it with the heat gun and just keep laying it down and it's going to pop up, you know, a handful of times. The same thing with this bottom corner right here, because there's so much tension in that curvature, you're going to use the heat gun on the outside of this glass and just keep laying it down. Eventually it'll stick. up here to this top when you see how it just pops out when you squeegee it a little bit you probably will pull in a little bit of dirt right here and right there but it's inevitable these little fingers down here if you just add heat to the glass and hit them with the bulldozer those will also lay you know hit the outside of this glass with the bulldozer I mean a heat gun where those fingers are at and then bulldoze them or anything you can get down there to reach. All right, so that's, this thing's pretty much laid. You got a couple fingers right here that you could heat them with the uh, heat gun on the outside and then hit them with your bulldozer or whatever you can get to reach down there and they'll lay 
you got this area right here is going to be your hardest part next it's going to keep wanting to pop up like i said just hit it with the heat gun you can also do what we call uh, shocking the film where you hit it with the heat gun and right after you hit it with you know whatever tool you hit the outside of this glass with some cold water and it shocks it from hot to cold really fast and that tends to make the film stick and then you just have this little area right here in this top corner to heat down and make it stay and other than that this window's lit 